Hello and welcome to question number 83 of Daily Dose GMAT. Today we have an easy question on data sufficiency. Let's have a look. What is angle A of the isosceles triangle A by C? Alright, so I need to find out angle A and I know that the triangle is isosceles. Angle B is equal to 40 degree. Is it sufficient to answer the question? No guys, because I do not know whether this is one of the equal angles or non-equal angles. Because if it is one of the equal angles, then the three angles are 40. 40 and 100 degree and if it is about the non-equal angle then the angles are 40 then the next one I have is 70 and the third one I have is 70 degree so I do not know what is angle A and what is angle C now second tells me that triangle ABC is acute now alone it is definitely not sufficient because I do not know any of the angle but when I club them ABC is acute, angle B is 40, definitely it is not the first case. So it is the second case. Now angle B is 40, angle A and C both have to be 70 degree to make it the isosceles acute triangle. Hope you got the concept and are enjoying the series. The correct answer is clearly C. Both statements together are sufficient but neither alone is sufficient. Stay tuned for more such questions and keep learning. Mission MBA, a place where learning is fun and absolutely affordable. Take care and bye-bye.